Hey everyone, well, as promised on my Instagram, I'm going to show you my wedding DIY projects. And to kickstart this, I'm going to show you how I made my bridal DIY robe. Essentially, we will need to make a kimono style pattern. The back will look like this and you should cut the left side unfold. So the top section is 24 inches, the sleeve is 15 inches in height and 10 inches in width. Side body is 20 inches and the bottom is 18 inches. You can make the body smaller, maybe around 16 inches but I like my stuff baggy so that's why mine is a little bit bigger. The length of the whole piece is 35 inches. To make the front piece, draw a line 4 inches in from the fold straight to the top. Now make a mark at 19 inches up the fold and 3 inches in from the dotted line at the top. Join those parts. The sleeves will be the same, 15 by 10 inches. The body will be 20 inches and the bottom will be 18 inches. The top section is now 21 inches. For the belt loops, cut four rectangles at one by six inches, and for the belt, draw out a rectangle at five by forty inches. You can you can extend this to around fifty inches or more. So here I'm just going to cut out all my pieces. I'm going to first prepare my belt loops and belt. I'm going to place each piece right sides together and sew around all the edges apart from one. This is so you can turn it the right way around. Take anything that's long and thin to turn the belt and belt loops right side out. I'm just using a chopstick but you could use a pen or a pencil or something. Make sure you also use it to push out each corner from the inside. After you do this step, iron the belt and the belt loops.
Now you can start the top, the underarms and the side body. After that, open up the rope fully. Here you can see the belt loops. Now it's time to hem the front edges. For this section, I'm going to sew the hem with the design of a four line stitch. It's a bit time consuming, but it makes a big difference. Now choose your lace. This will go around the sleeve cuff and the bottom of the robe. If I had enough of this laser cut lace, I'd so use it over the normal lace. Okay, so hem the bottom of the robe with a zigzag stitch to prevent it from frailing, especially when you're working with silk. For the bottom edge, pin the lace pointed upwards. When you get to the seam, cut the lace at about 1 inch longer and then measure the next section with a 1 inch seam allowance. When you've done that, fold the lace so it's pointed downwards and sew the lace down. Do the same method for the sleeves and then you're finished. I remember looking around for a robe like this during my wedding preparations but I couldn't justify spending so much money on something I could make with just a few pounds worth of material. So give it a try or share this video with someone who would benefit from a robe like this. And for more DIY videos don't forget to subscribe to my channel.